What is Uber? Uber is a smartphone application that connects riders with drivers like you. In the Philippines, Uber covers two cities, Metro Manila and Cebu. In Metro Manila, Uber spans from Caloocan, Malabon, and Valenzuela in the north, down to Paranaque and Muntinlupa in the south. In Rizal, we are also covering Cainta, Taytay, San Mateo, and areas before Valley Golf in Antipolo. In Cebu, Uber covers areas in Consolacion, Tutalisay, and Mactan. As long as the request is within these boundaries, it should always be accepted. Today, we will discuss how to use the Uber Partner application on your smartphone. Step 1. Upon opening the Uber Partner application, tap on Sign In. All Uber drivers need their own username and password. Your username is the email address you use to sign up for Uber. Make sure your login details are correct. Step 2. Select a vehicle. To do this, tap on Account. In the Accounts tab, press Select a vehicle. Choose the vehicle with the correct model and plate number that will be used. This is very important because the rider will see your name, picture, model, and plate number when they request a ride. After choosing a vehicle, step 3 is to go online. When you are online, you will be eligible to take requests. Once you make sure that you are ready to drive and take requests, you may now go online. When you have to take a break, you can always go offline. When you are online, you are eligible to receive requests. You only have 25 seconds to accept this. Always accept the request. The nearest driver is the only one who will receive the request. There is no bidding for requests. To accept a request, simply touch the screen. Once you accept the request, you will see the location of the rider on the map. You must drive towards the rider immediately. You may check pickup notes to help you find the rider. But you may also press the information button to know his or her contact details. Text the rider, Hi, I'm, insert your name, your Uber driver. May I know your exact location? Be professional. You may only use rider details to know the rider's location. Do not use their details for any other purpose. There will be times when you have to cancel a trip because of unavoidable reasons. When this happens, when this happens, simply tap cancel. But again, remember to cancel for unavoidable reasons. When you are near the rider's location, press the Confirm you've arrived button so that the rider can wait for you. You will only know the destination of the rider after you pick them up. Ask for the rider's destination and always ask for their preferred route or if they know of any other better routes. Again, you are not allowed to refuse a request. We can only refuse a destination if it is outside Metro Manila or Cebu's coverage area. Once the rider is comfortable in the vehicle and you know where he will be going, you can now start trip. Never forget to ask the rider's permission to start trip, since this is very important. At times, the rider has a destination request but has no preferred route. In these instances, we should use the Waze application that we can install from the App Store for iOS devices and the Play Store for Android devices. Simply press the Navigate button on the Uber Partner app to go to the Waze app. Remember that there are a lot of places in Metro Manila that have the same names, so always ensure that that correct destination is input. Waze will give you step-by-step -step directions to arrive at your destination. 
simply follow the directions that are provided by Waze. Upon reaching the destination, you can now complete trip. Again, never forget to inform the rider before you complete trip. After ending the trip, you will see the fare summary that was charged to the rider. The trip is usually charged to the rider's credit card. But sometimes, the rider can also select the cash option. You will know this when the screen turns green. Always remember, green means cash. At the end of each trip, riders rate drivers based on the service they provide. At the same time, drivers are able to rate riders based on the trip. Remember to only give a rating lower than 5 if the rider is rude, dirty, or damaged anything in your vehicle, or inhibited you from providing the best possible service. Please be reminded that tipping is not required. So don't give the rider a low rating just because of this. After you complete the trip, you are now back online and ready to take more trips. For more videos, go to t.uber.com slash phvideos. And to download the partner app, go to t.uber.com slash driver dash app. For any questions, contact us at the emails below. Thanks for listening.